Hello, this is Ace, and this video is specifically for the development team at Snowbird Studios, specifically the guys who are making Caribbean. I understand that you guys want your early access players to provide feedback, bug reports, and general suggestions for the game, and this is what this video is intended for. I should say that I'll start off my report on bugs before moving on to ideas for your game. The first bug I should mention would be the issue that certain ships being unable to fire forward. I know for a fact that the Flute of War is one such ship. It should also be noted that the forward firing guns appear to produce the gun smoke towards the rear of the ship. I should also note that there is a bug that causes all the characters to spawn for a split second, mind you, under the sea during seaboarding actions. That said, this particular bug seems to be fixed by the game itself after a split second, but I feel I should have mentioned it regardless. I feel I should also mention that pathfighting issues for AI, especially during boarding actions. In this case, the AI has a bad habit of falling between two ships, getting stuck on parts of the ship, like getting stuck by the cannons on the side, for example, and some other odd things. I should also mention that uh, although you guys have stated the current boarding action maps are stand-ins, I should still feel compelled to mention clipping issues with some of the maps, and a few graphical glitches here and there otherwise. Uh, furthermore, there is a bug that occurs when you capture an entire fleet owned by an important character. When you do this, that character instantly has command of a new fleet of ships. I can say that so far, I also ran into an odd bug a couple of times that causes the font to go haywire, distorting letters in their coloring, though I'm not sure what specifically causes that. That essentially covers the bugs I noticed, though, although there is a severe performance issue uh, from the gun smoke of gunfire during land battles and boarding actions. Simply put, it causes an enormous lag after the gun is fired and disappears when the player looks away from the gun smoke. Now on to some ideas for the game. I know you guys want some suggestions for naval combat, so I'll give you my own two cents on the matter. First of all, I'd like to see the relative position of the maps on the strategic maps transferred onto the sea battle map. I mention this because no matter where the two ships are going on the strategic map or where they are, my ships always are placed on the south end of the map and the opponents on the north end. And since the compass directions are evident in sea battles, it would make it sense for starting positions to reflect this. Talking about actual ship fighting, though, I would first suggest the ability to manually aim your cannons. In addition to this, I would also ask for there to be areas on the enemy ship you can damage to impact certain abilities of that ship. For example, if you aim and hit the rudder, it could prevent or hinder the maneuverability of that ship. Another example might be to fire the guns at the part of the ship that the captain might be expected to be near, reducing enemy morale or even taking the captain out of the fight during a boarding action. These things will give you some additional strategic elements. Speaking of ships, I'd also like to see the ability to partially repair a ship if you can't afford a full repair, and this be specifically divided between sail and hull health. You can achieve this by having sliders to represent how much you want each area repaired, kind of like how the slider for hiring sailors work. My personal example here is that I managed to capture a Manila Galleon from Spain in one game, only to have it heavily damaged by fire and the sails completely gone. I wanted to repair it, but I couldn't afford the extreme amount it would take to completely repair it. Speaking of fires, I feel my ability to deal with them is very limited. Apart from the character trait upgrade, there is nothing I can really do against them. I would love the ability to order some of my sailors to fight the fire or something. You could you could have it come at the cost of reload speed or for the cannons or something of that nature. To finish with the ships, I feel that at the shipyard there should be text above the upgrade tab or some means of informing new players that they should select the upgrade button to access the list of upgrades. Right now it's something newer players may miss. I've got about two decades of gaming under my belt, for example, and it took me a few times in the shipyard to figure out how to select what specific upgrades I want. Because I didn't realize the button was if the image of the selected upgrade is in fact a s button to press. This is a nitpick issue, but it's the sort of thing that critics will tend to harp on. I think I've discussed ships enough, though. I'll wrap up with some ideas for character customization, which should hopefully flesh out the pirate experience. The thing with pirates and the Caribbean as concepts for games or any media is that they are in public eye filled with personality. What I mean is that when you think of pirates, you think of eye patches, wooden legs, a hook for a hand, parrots, monkeys, rum, gambling, and the list just goes on. 
I suggest taking some of these elements on and putting them into the game. For example, when you create a character, why not give the character the option for their character to have an eye patch, a hook, or a wooden leg? Each of these things could give bonuses and penalties to specific stats. Eye patch might make you less accurate, but makes you more intimidating, giving you a bonus to persuasion. A hook might give penalties to reload times for pistols and muskets, but it would give you a bonus in power strike. And the wooden leg would penalize movement speed, but the wooden leg itself would be impervious to damage. Or you'd lose no health if shot in the wooden leg. Smaller hitbox, that sort of thing. Another thing I would suggest to add some flavor would be the ability to pick up pets and with the benefit that they could boost specific stats. Parrots might improve persuasion again, and monkeys might improve looting. In addition to this, I'd like to see this implemented in a similar fashion to how you read books in most Mountain Blade games, only here you can teach your pet to do new stuff and further boost their stats. It seems like it would give a game a healthy dose of flavor. Moving on, I'd like to see the ability to upgrade the armor you have, specifically by upgrading it with things like cartridge belts or a satchel of medical tools, uh, similar in vain to how you upgrade the ships. Again, this would boost stats. Cartridge belts, for example, would increase firing speed for guns. Following on this, another thing I'd suggest would be having cartridges as an alternative to standard bullets. I imagine these things working by improving firing speed instead of damage, maybe even having a light cartridge variant that has a less powerful charge, thus reducing the damage for an even greater burst in firing speed. I'll finish this list of ideas with suggestions regarding the taverns which seem almost assuredly in the works for this game. I'd first like to say that I liked the fighting mini game in with fire and sword. It didn't reward you with much, but it did fit the setting of that game. What I'd suggest here is perhaps expanding it with a few other money-making mini games that focus on other skills, like a knife throwing contest or target shooting. Both things you'd expect to see rowdy pirates doing, and again, it would add personality to the game. Well, that's pretty much all I have for you guys for now. Uh, if I get new ideas, I'll make another video. Hopefully you guys take these to heart, and it'd be really nice to see these make it into the game. If not, I can understand it is, after all, your internet property. Uh, otherwise, all I have to say is have a good day.